Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 67. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook Business 10, 210, Chapter 6. If you're in the class, just go to our chapter, chapter I wish I could talk, 6 website. Hey, we're talking about continuous probability distributions, and we want to talk about the uniform. Does that look like it's very uniform to you? No, some are tall, some are short, right? Here are the results for quiz four. Wow. Once we hit probability and statistics, oh, do people have a hard time. Uh, must be bad teaching, right? Oh, but here it is. Here's the distribution. Oh, well, look at lots of scores right there. Here's the distribution. Now, imagine if it looked like this instead. Oh, 10 in every category across the board. 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here. That's a uniform distribution. And there are many distributions that are uniform like this. Hey, let's look at an example. We're going to go over to the second sheet right here. Driving distance for top 100 golfers on the PGA Tour. This was back in 19, uh, 2003. Um, the, uh, we, we found that the lower end, for our uniform distribution was 284.7 yards, and the upper end was 310 and 6 yards. Now, this is just, um, could a PGA uh, Tour golfer hit outside this range? Could they hit less than this? Yeah. Could they hit more than this? You betcha. I think Tiger Woods can hit more than that. Ah, but let's look at this example right here. Inside of this range, when they did their frequency distribution, all the little bars were exactly the same. So outside this range, we're not considering. The probability is, is uh, zero for us in, in terms of our calculations. But within this range, it was uniform. So what that leaves us is when we plot it, we're going to have a height and a width. If we can, if we want to figure out between these two values here what the probability is, we just got to figure out the height and the width. Now let's think about this. The width, oh, well if that's the minimum and that's the maximum, we'll call this B and this A is just B minus A equals the width. So whatever that is, and I think when we calculate it, it's 25.9. Now let's do a little um, algebra down here. Area equals probability, that's the whole uh, point of this chapter. All probability equals 1. That's the, in the definition of an experiment and outcomes, uh, etc. So there it is. All that area equals 1, right? Well, if all the area equals 1, OK, we remember from geometry, area equals width times height. Oh, but we could substitute a 1 in there, so now we get, oh. 1 equals width times height. But ding, 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 ding. We already know that the width is uh, 25.9. Actually, what I did was I solved for, since so I know the width here, and I know the number 1 as number, so all I have to do is solve for height. So I went ahead and solved for height. Height is 1 divided by width. Well, in our case, um, it's going to be 1 divided by 25.9, which is exactly what I calculated here. 1 divided by the difference between those. Ah, and that is our height that we're going to use for this particular rectangle. It is not a probability. It will be used to calculate the probability, but it's not. It's just the height. Boop, and we know the width. So now we know the height and the width. Now, here's our formal definition of the probability density function. And this word density will come up in our continuous random variable uh, probability distribution discussions. We'll always have uh, probability density function, whether it's u for uniform or normal or whatever. It will calculate height. Height. And there it is. 1 divided by whatever the max t uh, minus the min for our, our range. Now, uh, how do you calculate probability? Remember, probability in this chapter for continuous is never a single x, so it's always between two. Here's how you calculate. It's just, this is, looks real complicated, right? But what's b minus a? Oh, that's the width. What's 1 divided by that? Oh, that's the height. Now, this is kind of misleading, because really it should be x minus uh, 
a particular uh, x2 minus a particular x1, and that's that's how we'll calculate it. By the way, what would this be? Uh, what would this probability be if we calculated this? Uh, what's b minus a? Well, it's 29, um, 29.5, right? What's 29.5 times 1 divided by 25.9? It's 1. So actually, this formula, I'm going to change this to x2, x sub 2, x sub 1. That is still true, but only for this particular instance. And of course, the probability if we did that calculation would be 1, because everything inside of the red there is 1. Actually, let me show you how to do this. A, a few people asked how to add. Uh, uh, this sub, uh, see I have x sub 1, x sub 2 here. Watch this, I'm going to type x and 1, and then right here I'm, I'm actually in edit mode here. It might be safer to do up here, but I'm going to do x2. Actually, no, I want x2 there, so we'll take the bigger minus the uh, smaller. You highlight it in edit mode or up here, whichever one you want to do. Highlight it in edit mode. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. Uh, I don't even know where it is without the keyboard shortcut. It's a uh, font. Actually, you could right click uh, format cells. Right click format cells. Ah, there it is, subscript. Notice right click format cells in Excel usually has lots of tabs. Not when you're in edit mode and you're highlighting just a single character. So. Uh, as soon as I do subscript and click OK, boom, now it is a subscript. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Alt-O-E. And notice there's, um, a, for super it would be E, for B, subscript it would be B, so Alt-B, and then Enter. If you do that a lot, that keyboard shortcut is really awesome. That was Alt-O-E, still holding Alt-B. All right, uh, so there it is. That's the formula for uh, probability. And of course, probability of uh, x less than or equal to x, uh, x sub 1 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to x sub 2. Notice there's an equal sign there and there's none there. These two things are the same because lines have no area. All right, our mean for a uniform distribution, hey, it's just going to add the small one and the big one and divide by 2, right? It's just the one in the middle. And the, the standard deviation will be b minus a squared divided by 12. And then you take the square root of that whole thing. Now let's go over to our PDFs and take a look here. And there it is. I have some written notes on the uniform probability distribution, including how they you list the function. You say f of x, 1 divided by b minus a for a less than or equal to x, uh, x less than or equal to b for that range only. It's 0 everywhere else. Also, whatever the f of x is has to be greater than or equal to 0 for all x. Uh, and then here's our two formulas here. There's our. Uh, population mean or expected value or population standard deviation. And there's our formula right there. Go back over to Excel. And uh, let's do some, here if I, I've explicitly listed out how we calculated the uh, density function for this example here. All right, let's go do some calculations. Um, what's our calculation here? With the same PGA tour, the difference is going to be our denominator for height. So it equals whatever the uh, bigger one is minus whatever the smaller one is. That's B minus A. So our actual value then for our density function will, equal, will be equal 1 divided by that right there. So there it is. I have a, drawn a picture here. And by the way, um, the, the way you draw pictures like this, I actually probably should show you how to do this from scratch. You highlight and control 1. And you go to fill. And I'm going to pick uh, more colors. I don't like that yellow. I'm going to pick that one. This is helpful because in your homework, you're going to have to do this right. And I'm going to watch this. This is a great trick for lines. This is a great trick for lines. You highlight, because I want a little piece. See how there's a little piece there and there? Highlight all the way like that. Control 1 for format cells. Border. Now, here's how borders work. Top, bottom, side. And these are the inside ones, right? 
So all I'm going to do is you pick your line, you pick your color, and I'm clicking on the top. If I wanted to do the side, I click there for, there for the other side, there for the bottom, and there for all the, oops, the diagonals, there for all the, the lines in between. But I don't want any of those. I just want that one right there. Right Now watch this. I want it going up a little bit and down a little bit. I want an extra bit there and there. Notice the line I want is right there. So when I control 1, I click there. I have already have the line by default. Right? So then I'm going to put an X here to make sure and say that's X. I'm going to put an F of X here to make sure that that's F of X. I'm going to highlight whatever the range is, control 1, and add a different color. I don't know what I do without. Uh, pictures and visual des uh, descriptions of every all the continuous variables. Later I'll show you how to do it for normal curve, but there it is. And then you can type whatever number you have there equals the smallest one, whatever the biggest one is. And if you wanted to do something like this, obviously you'd put it like a 290 there and then highlight these and uh, control 1 and then add a different color. So that's how you uh, do it uh, by hand. If you wanted the probability, then you'd click on that right there. If you wanted to put explicitly 1 divided by 25.9, uh, you could type equals, uh, how about an apostrophe? There's other ways to do it. 1 divided by 25.9. That is to, I don't think that, I think we can get away with apostrophe here because there's not 25.9 days in a month. But if you don't have the apostrophe and you put 1 divided by 25, it thinks it's a date. So be safe and you can do that. And then that, that'll give you your f of x. All right, let's do some calculating here. What is the probability? What is the probability that a golfer is going to drive less than 290 yards? Ah, I drew my picture, so it's really I need to calculate the uh, width times the height. I'm going to uh, calculate my width first equals open parentheses, whatever the bigger one minus whatever the smaller one is, times, and I've already calculated the height, so I'm just going to go like that. And there it is. There is our probability for PGA golfer, top 100 person, uh, less than 290. Now how about uh, greater than 290? Oh, so instead of from here to here, it's going to be from here to here. So equals, open parentheses, the big one minus the little one times our right there, and then enter. So 79.54 percent or probability 0.7954 that a golfer uh, would hit between 290 and 310.6. Now what about in between these two? We did uh, from the smallest to the that and from the biggest down to this, but now what about in between? No problem. Just put your two X's and watch this. If I were actually uh, locking that cell reference right there, because this is going to be referred to all the time, I'm going to hit the F4 key. Notice that formula is looking too above and locked on that one. I could copy and paste it right here, because the template is exactly the same. Too above, locked up there. All right, so the probability that you can go between 290 and 300 is 0.3861. So that is uniform probability distribution. When we come back, we'll start talking about our awesome uh, normal probability distribution. See you next video.